all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we're trying to see how to create mac or to create documentations right for your project so in case you are building a package and you want to host it on PyPy, or you are building any project and you want to be able to create simple documentation for them we're trying to see how to do that using mkdocs so there are two main options there is reader docs right as you can see from here this is a package a beautiful soup which has been hosted on reader docs right you can also host your packages on github pages so we'll be trying to see how to use a very nice package called mkdocs to be able to host our documentation for our software so let's see how to do that from scratch which is very very important so i'll just go back again and we start using mkdocs i'll come back again to my workspace this is the place so let's move out from here to jdeb right and then mkdocs tutorial so the first thing is that you need to be able to install the package right so in case you don't have the package you can install it with this option so pip install mkdocs right that is the package you'll be using right so i've already installed it so you can just move on straight away that is the first thing so since i've already installed it, it's going to just tell me that requirement already is satisfied so the next step is that we are going to be creating our project and then we will try and see how to do the documentation for that Right, so perfect. So I'll just go back again. Let's let's work on it. So I've already installed it. So let's go with mke docs dash help to be able to know that it has been installed. You're going to see the various documentation or how to use it, right? So we have these particular options. So you can build a documentation, you can deploy it on GitHub pages, you can create a new folder, and then you can save or run the built in during development, right? So let's see the first one. So I'm just going to go with mke docs new, right? And I want to give a project title so let's call it as hello package right package right, something like that so i'm going to create a project called hello package perfect so i've created it now if i go back and i check here you can see i have the project here right hello package very nice so i'll just move into to my hello package and then if i do the tree you can see the structure of it so it's having the docs right which is having an index.md and then a markdown dot yaml file right so these are the most important thing to help you do your documentation perfect so i'll just come back again and open it with the sublime and then you start writing some code so it's going to run perfectly for us perfect starts open so as you can see there's nothing here right the only thing we have is our docs with the index.html right just having this busy stuff and then you have the mac mk so this is the most important thing here right so i'm just going to modify this place so as i modify this place we able to see how to build it i'm going to change this one from this to the name of the package so hello package right perfect that is the first thing then you can also specify your site url so site url and then you can just give it any name so let's give it a, let's say http s so slash let's say something else right but let's not do it now let's go straight away the simple fact perfect right, so let's let's do it so that everybody can benefit from it so i'm just going to give it like https slash let's call that cj caris tech your site dot the git hub dot io right that is the name of the package right the place you'll be hosting it something very simple right something like that okay that is the site url right you can also use example let's use example dot com right it's supposed to be this option perfect right so that is something very simple this is going to be the site URL where you are hosting it right and this is going to be the site name right so it's going to appear here and now we can also specify the navigation so navig navigation then i'll just specify okay the first navigation is going to be my home right then let's give it the name so the home is going to be your main stuff which is going to be your index dot md right perfect that is all so that is all that we need right Okay, so that's the most important thing now let's go back to our index.md which is this one and then let's run it right so i'm just going to go back again to the same place that i have my app right as you can see and now i just run it like this so mk docs save if i go with save it's going to open using the markdown I'm going to build the documentation create a clean repository and give us a link in which you can see our work so i'll copy this one and i'll go to my browser and now i'll paste it here I basically you're going to see the name of the package the hello package right very simple see that we have the hello package here which is the same name that we had here right let me position side by side 
perfect right so, so that is it so you can see that package name here hello package is here if i change it from this to let's say hello world or hello world right i save it that is going to change it here right automatically determine it that is the site name right very simple so let's go back again to the name hello pkg right perfect now let's from there we want to be able to make it nicer right so to change it i can just come back again to my index of html file which is all of this and i'm going to clean off all this so i'm going to clean off all of them and then i can just write my documentation so let's go just hello pkg right for the package then i can just specify the documentation so in writing documentation there are several things you need first of all you may tell the user so let's say getting started right we're going to tell you how to install the package so let's call this installation the package and i'll just go with my simple bash then pip install the package right hello pkg right something like that right, so if i save it now it's going to build everything from scratch as you have seen instead of now just change the entire stuff so we have the hello package that is the name of the package we have the getting started we have the installation so this is very very useful and very simple right that allows you to be able to do things very fast and as you can see it's automatically going to give you all of this from scratch right perfect now let's add some more code so let's say this is going to be the getting started yeah installation one you can see that the packages so can be found on PyPy, right so if i go with this it's going to bring it here perfect and then now i can just add some other stuff so let's say i want to add the usage there which say so this is a simple usage right of the package something like that then i'm just going to put in my code so let's put in python and i can just do it import let's make it like this import hello pkg right something like that if i go with this option it's going to run it our result right very nice you can see how it is very nice so this is very very easy for you to document or make documentation for your project let's say if you go back let's see something like this. if i come back here right you can see we have the quick start we have the installation we have specific parser we have some other stuff so how do you do all of these particular stuff so the simplest way is just go back again to what we have and then create another file right so i can just i'm going to create another file here I'm going to call that one like I say the about page or the user guide, something like that. So the same lo same location, user guide. So MD, that's going to be the for the user guide. I'm going to create another one for the API, right? API reference. So it's going to be API. Go back again. Let's see this one and call it as API guide. So API reference dot MD. All of them is marked down. And let's create another one for about let's see about the app or let's see contribution page or something right so about dot md perfect so these are the four different markdowns here right i'll go back and i'll go to the user guide and paste something say here say user guide and let's put in something like usage right this is how to use the package so this is how to use the package Right, something like that and then for the api reference you can just specify the api reference so see api guide or api reference i can't spell reference reference right and you can just give all the packages so reference api you can give it like the normal stuff we do let's say you can just put anything there so let's say hello package right As, as you wish right perfect something like that and we have gotten about to be let's go with about 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 package right something like that see an exciting package an exciting hello package i don't know they can hear me well. perfect so that's something very simple so we have gotten three different markdowns so how do we link all of these markdowns here right so i just go back again to the mac doc here and this is an application which is the home so i can just come back again and specify that the next one is going to be the user guide right so user so user guide right 
and I'll just specify the link which is going to be the user guide so you not the link by the file user guide.md then I'll do the same thing for the API so API guide let's say API something like that API reference dot md then the next one is going to be let's say use uh, about right about dot md that is all right so if i save it now if i come back again to the app i'm going to say it's going to give us all of these tab tabs so there's going to be a tab so the home is going to be the main one if i go to the user guide you're also going to get only the user guide if i go to the api i'm only going to get the api if i go to the about i'm also going to get the about right so that is how to do that and it's making it very very nice very cool and one feature with this simple stuff is that i can just search for something the search search for something like let's say hello package so the moment i start searching it's going to give us everything from the entire pages right very very cool this is a very nice feature so let's go with this home right very cool very nice so this is one of the teams so in case you also want to change the team to get a team like this this reader does which is very very common for most packages how do you do that right so in that case i just go back again to the same place i'm going to add the next argument which is going to be the team so team now specify that i want to use the read the docs team so read the docs team right so i go read the docs so that this is going to change completely from this one to something similar to this so that just change the entire stuff right from the previous one and you can see that just giving it in this format here right very cool so this is going to be the home page the user guide right perfect we have the api and then we have the about right so that is how to use markdown or mk docs to be able to generate a very nice documentation for your project very very simple so after that you can build it so i'll just go back again and let's build it simply that we have it said there's nothing here so in case i want to build it let's go with mk docs say i finish everything then build so if i go with dot build it's going to build it perfectly for us we're going to create a site repository perfect so if i check it now we have our site repository here and if i open this one Oh, let's go back again or we'll check the tree of this tree site that is giving us the it's going to convert every markdown to what's the name html right together with the favicon icons and then all the various things there right all of these things so you can actually modify them very cool right very very nice now in case you want to deploy it this is what is going to be deployed on github right but you're going to commit there are two ways either you co 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 copy this one and send it to the github and then link it to github pages or you just use this option so mk docs right gh deploy right after committing it to github so that is the basic understanding to deploy it so in the next tutorial i'll be trying to see how to deploy this particular one to github pages so that is how to work with it so to recap the simplest stuff is that first of all you just have to go with this option let's go back again to x space the first thing is that you must install the package if you don't have it you just install it pick install mk docs then after installing the package you want to in case you want to create a new project just go with mk docs dot the name of the package then you move into that particular package as you can see you're going to get this particular file stay then you modify the mk docs right which is going to be the yaml which is going to be used to configure your, your stuff then to see what is what you are doing just go with mk docs save and then to be able to build the entire site just go with mk doc build which is what we saw here right so thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any question or contribution you can just post that in the comment section below and see you in the next session stay blessed bye